door and wonderful goddess Artemis. What should I do? I don't want to get married, but my dad said that I had to. Oh dear Providence, listen to my prayer. The princess Atalanta was a legend of the forest and the mountains. She was one of the most important women in Greece. Although she had become a great woman, she didn't always have an easy life. Atalanta was a heroine consecrated to Artemis, the goddess of the hunt who had always helped her. The heroine was recognized by her unbeatable abilities for the hunt. She used to have a white life. She was the daughter of the king Jason. In her childhood, she had been abandoned in a jungle, prized by a beer and forced to face the monstrous foes. I like to serve you. I'm happy living a free life, and I don't want to live bound to men. Dear Atalanta, it's wrote in your destiny that you will get married, and after your wedding, you and your husband will be converted in animals. You have to choose a husband, it's necessary. You cannot contrive what has been wrote. Right, I will marry, but not with anyone. I will join in marriage with the best man. Just a willful man can be my husband, the one who defeats me in a race, just the one who I can truly love. But each man who fails is going to pay with a very high price. The notice of Atalanta's decision arrived until the last point of the country. The whole near masculine population felt attracted by the idea. There wasn't any man who didn't want to become Atalanta's husband. After a few days, many men had perished due to their unsuccessful try. One day, one handsome guy called Melania decided to challenge the princess. He was white, slender and good looking. His little blue eyes reflected the transparency of the sky and his short straight blue hair shone with the sun. I'm the perfect man for Atalanta. Her beauty will be mine and I will protect her forever. But I think that I need something more than my skills if I want to defeat her. I need help, and I know where I'll find it. That's why Melanion decided to go to Aphrodite Temple before face Atalanta. Dear Goddess Aphrodite, you are the most beautiful god in the entire world, and just you can help me. I love Atalanta, and probably I won't win the race. Please, I need your advice, I need your wisdom. What will I do? Melania, I have the answer to your problem. You will be able to defeat Atalanta. Just use these golden apples to distract Atalanta in the race. Use them in the proper moment and you won't fail. Thank you very much, my divine goddess. I won't forget to help. Melanion decided to go immediately to the forest where Atalanta was. She was wearing her next challenger. And in that moment Melanion appeared. When she saw him, she was shocked. He was the most handsome man that she had ever seen. But it doesn't matter how pretty he was, she was to lose against that man. And she was not disposed to lose. Princess Atalanta. Yes, I am. And who are you fighting? Melanion, descendant of the water's god and your future husband. You should go. You are handsome. Go on with your life and find another woman. You shouldn't die here. She didn't want to kill him. But inside her, she conserved faith on Melania. I shall listen to you, and I keep my decision. If that's your last word, but you won't win, let's see what happened. Atalanta showed Melania the long route. It started in the forest and finished in the entrance to a near town. After that, they went to the spar point and the race began. I will give you some time of advantage. Are you ready? Better than ever. Start when you want to. Ready? Now! Melanion started to run at the top of his speed. He knew that the girl was much faster than him, but he had to take the biggest advantage that he could. Few minutes after, Atalanta started. She was very fast, and she overtook him one minute. Oh no, she's going to pass me. It's time to the first surprise. And Melanion dropped the first up. Atalanta suddenly stopped. She couldn't keep running, her eyes just could look at the golden apple. She was hit the piece by the apple. It works, she has stopped. I have to move as they know. Melanion had left the forest and started the way right to the town. He turned his head and saw that Atalanta had come and was almost behind him. It's time to drop the second apple. 
they shine with the sun. They are magical. What are these apples? Melanion took advantage of the situation and rode with the last fort that he had. He could see the town. He reached Atlanta, started to run again inside. She strove to overtake him again. He was almost in the winning post, but Atalanta was exactly beside him. Now or never. Atalanta stopped immediately and Melanion, using all his energy, could cross the goal. Amazing. You defeated me. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are the man who I will love forever. After the race, Atalanta could fight her bronze. She married to Melanion and they lived happy for a long time. They, Aphrodite, remembered that Melanion never paid the favor that he had asked her. She decided to talk to Zeus, the Grand Lord of the Olympic Gods. Dear Zeus, God of Gods, I am so mad at Melanion. He didn't thank me. I gave him three golden apples to win that race. But when he won, he never did something for me. Yes, you are right, dear God. He isn't a good person, and he doesn't deserve anything. You must do something to punish him. Yes, he and Atalanta had sexual relationships in my temple. I'm going to punish him, as you said. I'm going to shame him into a lion, and Atalanta will have the same condom. With this, they won't have more relationships, because lion can stay together. Yes, I really like that idea. You are so clever. Atalanta and Melanion couldn't be together, and they had to live with that horrible punishment for the rest of their lives.